a lot of people haven't had a good start for their lives. They might have come from an alcoholic home or a drug-infested home, or they might have been exposed to a lot of violence as a child. I think so many times about my life growing up in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and I was just a scared kid, really. I know what it's like to grow up in a broken home. I know what it's like to battle addictions. I know what it's like to see violence in front of me. But God showed his mercy and compassion to me. God bless you, buddy. Knowing you has been the best thing in my life. Uh, God bless you. Yeah, same to you, buddy. I'll All chat right. with you later on. Okay, I'll be here. Okay. I'm working with ex-cons because I see them like I see myself. I was a broken man who needed Jesus. They are broken people who need Jesus as well. Many people come out of prison, they've lost all contact with family. They've lost all contact with their children. Um, they're making a brand new start and they really don't know where to turn. I'm gonna have some rice and I'm gonna have some of that and some of that. No soup. Uh, no soup, thank you. They think that they look different than other people. And I try to encourage the people that we're supporting to realize thank that so much, my friend. there's no mark on you. How you doing? Hey, Reg. They need to be embraced by a community of compassion because that is so instrumental in regards to a person making it and, and making a new start in a community and finding hope and purpose for their lives. Oh, there's Darren. Hey, everybody. Nice to see you all. Hey, good, thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming, everybody. I've actually had pastors who have said to me, not in our church, but it sure is refreshing when pastors and leaders in congregations open their hearts and open the doors of the church to people who are coming out of prison because we want people to become a part of our community again. God's given me a lot more than two chances in my life. And people from prison need a second chance or even a third chance or a fourth chance sometimes to be able to make a new start. <laughs> you guys can have the chocolate. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome, Brad. When I went into ministry in 1989, I went in with a little bit of a foundation and it was to be a friend, to make a friend, and to bring that friend into a relationship with Jesus Christ. It can be a long process at times. It doesn't happen overnight. John 3, 16 is really, really great. People hold on to that baggage for years and years and years, and it, but it's eating them apart on the inside. Central verse of the whole Bible. Really. I want to see people live productive, meaningful lives for God and for their lives and and for society as well, because there's so many people who are coming out of prison have tremendous gifts and abilities. It's exciting to see when people are able to take their skills and abilities and in Christ, use them for his honor and glory. It's like, like, it's like passing the torch on, saying, you go and run with this torch. You keep on running because you're not alone. God is with you. Thank you.